Hey everybody, this is Cam. Um, I'm just wanted to make a quick video to mark my one week on tea, my very unexpected one week on tea. Um, obviously, since you know it has only been one week, uh, as a reminder, I did do a 250 milligram shot last Monday. Um, so of course, you know I'm not really experiencing any changes. For the most part um don't feel any different don't really feel anything that indicated that i am on t now uh the soreness in the injection site which started a couple days after and persisted for a few days uh is pretty much gone now um and i haven't really felt any different as far as like my mood my behavior anything like that uh now disclaimer to people who know me or like who are close to me kind of know me uh, there will probably be some things in this video that might make you a little bit uncomfortable to hear, so, yeah, be, be warned. Um, as far as physical changes go, like, again, nothing really that noticeable. Um, aside from a couple of things, uh, I'm not sure whether to attribute this to the shot itself or to andractum or pumping or a combination of the three, uh, but there's definitely been some, um, growth and increase in sensitivity um increase in sensitivity particularly over the past few days i would have to say uh not like to a point that i haven't experienced before but um i don't know it's kind of difficult to explain at this point uh libido also it's kind of hard to say because mine's always been really really high uh so it could just be my own natural state of being or it could be also boosted by the testosterone i'm not really sure um again it's not really at a point that i've never experienced before but over the past few days it's been uh, particularly noticeable um i haven't had to pee as much uh that probably started like the latter half of last week um i'm not sure what that's about maybe my body is just like retaining fluids or something but uh yeah i definitely found that strange like i was able to drink like a whole bottle of tea and then a bottle of water and i didn't have to pee for like 12 hours and then i barely had to go um uh i had some trouble waking up during like the middle of last week like maybe tuesday wednesday thursday friday i'm not sure um and then saturday night uh I was trying to sleep a little bit early because I had to get up at like four or something because we went skiing yesterday and uh, I could not sleep and I think I, I mainly attribute that to dysphoria I had a lot of um, bottom dysphoria stuff going on in my head that night I just kept waking up um, but I felt actually I didn't feel tired at all when I woke up really um, I didn't feel like exhausted um i didn't feel particularly exhausted that night after skiing or anything like that um and i think i woke up normally today i can't really remember um speaking of today i had a really hard time concentrating today i had my last koto lesson and i did not do well at all um again it could just be my brain is all over the place but yeah it was really really frustrating i just c could not concentrate I just couldn't um as far as dysphoria goes it, it continues of course uh, I've been having some stress about it um it's cons consistent sometimes it gets a little bit worse sometimes it gets a lot worse um you know it is what it is um social interaction of course does kind of make things a little bit worse because people treat me based on what I was born with um as opposed to based on who I am and you know, I can't really blame them because they don't know yet, but it doesn't feel good, of course. Um, and I do feel like a sense of kind of self-validation since uh, my shot, um, like kind of like I'm more genuine or something like that, which of course is like not the case, like, you know, um, it's not like I wasn't really trans before like obviously i was i just feel like since i finally kind of like taking a, a bit of control over it and s actually like stepped into doing something about it i just feel i don't know i feel better about myself for that um 
I definitely have some stress about coming out. I have some more friends to come out to. I'm not really worried about them so much. Um, there's people that I want to tell individually. One person actually already found out who follows me on Tumblr and YouTube, also apparently, um, who I would have liked to tell individually. Um, so there's a few more people that I should probably talk to before that happens again. Um, family. Not so worried about my brother, not looking forward to talking to my mom. And uh, my family that I've made in Japan, um, also not looking forward to talking to work um we'll see what happens with that hopefully i'll still have a job at the end of next month uh and yeah i guess that that's pretty much all that's going on um i do want to make my andractum video and my pumping video um but they're probably gonna have to wait until tomorrow because i use my camera a lot today and i think both of my batteries are dead so well this one's almost dead and the other one is dead so yeah um they'll have to wait until tomorrow um but yeah, so it's been one week since I started tea, and I have one week until I am due for my next shot. Uh, so um, I am keeping track, like keeping a log of things that are going on, um, keeping track of my workout, which is you know I'm just do I'm doing P90X right now. Don't have a, a proper set of weights for it, unfortunately, um, but I'm doing what I can, and. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all that I have to say for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you've got anything that, you know, you want to say or you want to ask or you just want to connect, don't hesitate to contact me or leave a comment or subscribe or do whatever. Um, always looking to meet inter interesting people, people who are having similar experiences, people who are having radically different experiences. Um, you know, I'm interested, so uh, don't hesitate. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, thanks for watching and take care.